Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond from Trap and Wizard. If you like my channel, subscribe. In this episode, I'd like to show you a new feature, which is actually a section uh, ideas uh, panel. So uh, let's see how uh, what it is. By the way, we have here a article that describes exactly the section uh, design ideas. Uh, what does it support? Uh, in general, it supports image web parts, text web parts, and also banners. It provides actually also suggestions and uh, let's see how it goes. So I will, I'm in the home page of a team site. I will click on new, click on page, and I will choose the blank uh, web part, blank page template. And as you see here, uh, we have a new way of uh, adding sections, but on the right, automatically, it adds uh, three categories. The toolbar, which includes the web parts. Uh, if you don't see all of the web parts, you can click on uh, more. Second of all, you can um, choose from stock images. You can uh, search here, and if you want more, you can get more ideas. And the section te template that shows, you can choose from uh, some section templates. Second tab is actually the properties of the web part. So in this text web part, the properties is here. And uh, if I had uh, a different uh, web part, it would show it here. The third one is the new one, design ideas. So automatically, as you can see, I have this, I'm on a text web part and it's offering automatically some text layout. Now, if I don't find anything I like, I can click more. In this case, I like this. So what I will do, I will just uh, take, um, put some text and I will take from Wikipedia actually about dogs. So the title will be dogs. And actually I will put here some, some text. What is a dog? And uh, you, you see it's thinking and automatically it will provide here either an image. So you see here um, the text is on the left and uh, image is offered. Here we have an image which is round. Here it's square. And uh, it could even add a full blown uh, image in addition. So I think I like this one. I will choose it. It created a section with two uh, parts and added an image. So additionally, I can add another. This time I will also add a text web part. And uh, let's see what we can do. So I will continue and take some uh, more text and it will probably uh, provide me with additional image that I want. Um, according to the article, it can even add the image within the text in line, or it can provide something different. In this case, you see, uh, I don't know why I chose it, but in this case, it's taking the text and adding some image that is relevant. <laughs> yeah, a frog is, has nothing to do with dogs, but uh, Eventually, it will probably improve uh, much. So um, the last part that actually that uh, according to what Microsoft can, says it can do, it can also add uh, some background um, and uh, also some uh, image to the banner. Currently, I don't see this, but um, it probably will uh, roll out. Now, what it can do also is it can provide not only images, it can also provide a background. So look at this, this is amazing. In this case, it added the text, the whole section, it in increased the image and it also put a, a very special background. Uh, so this can be a very, very special uh, page that I don't know if I would have succeeded in doing uh, in this case. So let's see what it offers here. 
and uh, it's all a matter of uh, trial and error. And uh, but there's some guideline in in this article actually how to create it, what possibilities that it offer, and um, and what actually can happen, why is it not uh, working. Um, so you see here, there's lots of things. How can it be uh, working with co-authoring? And um, the main topic is that only it, it supports currently only image, text, and banner web parts. Quick links, uh, it doesn't support. And also third-party uh, web parts, it doesn't support. So um, once it uh, comes to your tenant, test it and let me know what you think. Goodbye and see you in the next episode.